let's focus on Shrey Infra's numbers and we've got with us Sunil Kanoria, the Vice Chairman, joining in on the show right now. Sunil, hi, morning. Thanks for joining in. If you could just walk us through how uh, the quarter has been for you and what really explains this big uh, pat dip of about 69.5% uh, roughly. Yeah, if you really look at uh, uh, post-September, uh, the overall uh, NBFC sector has gone through challenges, more particularly in terms of uh, the liability side. Uh, our raw material is money and that has been uh, limited, access to that has been limited. So therefore, what we have done is rejigging our entire business model to focus more on uh, a new business uh, development whereby our uh, focus is on the co-lending program uh, where we have tied up with banks so that, that that development is happening and the existing portfolio which is there that is what we are focusing on to reject that uh, recover sell down uh, reduce the uh, portfolio size uh, on the existing one and focus on our equipment business which is our core strength over the last 30 years and see that through co-lending programs how can we build that up also, April, May was a washout uh, because of the elections, uh, so therefore hardly any uh, work was happening. The sales also of the equipment was down uh, in these uh, few months. This is starting to steadily pick up. We have seen some pick up in July a little bit, but during the monsoon, we expect that post-September this market will improve. And our co-lending programs also, which we have signed up with almost uh, eight banks now, uh, that would accelerate uh, the process. Uh, we have done various programs in the last few weeks and uh, we hope that uh, we will be able to bounce back in our equipment financing business strongly. Uh, parallelly, we will uh, reduce our uh, old exposures. All right, uh, fair enough. That's the uh, outlook coming in there from Mr. Kanoria. Um, okay, fair enough. Mr. Knoria, going forward as well, uh, if you could just share with us, uh, you know, in terms of your outlook, how things stand, whether you see how, how and where you see uh, growth picking up. I think you see what happened in the last six, eight months, the entire construction equipment space had a massive negative growth of over 25%. Uh, one, because we were one of the leaders in this space and uh, due to uh, uh, scarcity of uh, resources, we could not uh, support that sector. And secondly, of course, also the slowdown happened because of the elections uh, where the construction uh, sector uh, went into a little slowdown. But I think uh, with this new government coming with a very strong uh, uh, emphasis on infrastructure and uh, growth, we expect that the momentum should pick up. Uh, the sector and the industry is hopeful of that. So we believe that uh, in, uh, in the coming months, uh, uh, especially post-monsoon, uh, we see a reasonable pickup. The constraint still will remain the financial uh, resources. So we will see how we can overcome that uh, gradually. The uh, government has uh, sent positive messages that NBFC sector is very critical. Uh, so we hope that we will get uh, the kind of support from the system to to be able to uh, uh, get back to action. All right. So uh, hoping that uh, you know one will actually manage that. Now, uh, you know, when are you expecting things to stabilize, uh, Mr. Kanoria? Also, you know, like how comfortable are you on liquidity? If we look at the ALM uh, position, are your assets greater than liabilities? And let's say for the foreseeable more than six to twelve months or so. Uh, you know, or the one to three and the three to five year bucket? See, one is that we don't have that ALM challenge because we had, we did not borrow short and lent long. That had been the principle of Shrey for the last 20 years, 25 years plus. Uh, since the mid, uh, late 90s, we had put down the policy of ALM, of uh, interest rate risk and the Fordis risk. These three things we have avoided uh, taking uh, on our book because we are not having that, uh, we are not a bank whereby we can absorb those uh, risks. Therefore, from those angles, we are well protected. But yes, uh, to, for new funding, because uh, money being our raw material and our source of funding primarily was the banking system and the bond market uh, in a small way. So these have been under challenge for some time. However, in the last uh, month or so, 
uh, we have been able to access some uh, external commercial boardings. Uh, some relaxation which RBI has done uh, over the uh, period has also helped in that. So we are focusing uh, on uh, long-term boardings from international resources, which was Shrey's strength in the 2000s also, where we had accessed uh, resources from most of the institutions globally. So through that journey, we believe that we do not have an ALM mismatch. Uh, we would, uh, from that point of uh, view, we are fairly stable. However, uh, growth is critical for us and therefore we have to look at ways how we can uh, develop growth. Right. Also, Mr. Kanori, I wanted to understand really what's happening on asset quality and where is it that you foresee stress coming in? If you, know, if you could just highlight accounts or sectors which could be trouble points going forward. See, whatever stress was there is already there. The resolutions of those are gradually happening. Uh, we are not seeing new stress uh, coming in in terms of uh, the new portfolio, whatever we were building on for some time. The old ones are gradually getting resolved, some are in the system. So we ha hope that now with this new amendment with the IBC also, to many of the cases which are pending in the various levels in courts and uh, NCLT, that gets resolved, so uh, some amount of liquidity can get released from there. So we believe that in the next uh, year and a half, uh, we should see every quarter to quarter cash flow coming from many of these uh, accounts too. The increase in provision on the existing ones keep on uh, would happening. And as my overall loan portfolio is uh, not growing, uh, it is gradually coming down. So therefore, as a percentage, it may uh, look uh, different. But as an absolute amount, we see uh, gradual re uh, resolutions. Okay, you are also consolidating your business with a focus on asset finance. Any update there as well, uh, you know, on that front, Mr. Kanoria? Yeah, so we announced it on 4th of July. The process is on uh, in terms of our shareholders' approval and our lenders' approval. We hope that the process should get completed by end of September and uh, then it will be consolidated. It will help us to also bring in operational uh, efficiencies in the system and reduce our overall uh, operational cost also. Because today, mind you, the entire compliance cost has gone up substantially. Because what has happened is uh, the non-banks uh, have been virtually linked to a kind of a bank uh, uh, regulation. Uh, unfortunately, the problem is on the asset side, it has got uh, converged. But on the liability side, there is uh, no new leeway uh, open to the NBFC sector to access uh, uh, liquidity. And that is where it is creating a major challenge in terms of the business model per se. That how do you keep on sustaining if your liability side is a challenge. So there needs some regulatory intervention, some policy intervention to understand the business model of NBFI and to see that how you enable it. Or if you find that, no, it is not possible to enable it beyond a certain size, then you need to allow conversion or merge into banks, which is what we have been highlighting as a policy change for some time now.